Hey guys, so it's now been a little over a week since Apple released iOS 18 Beta 1 and I have to say I am loving these new updates with all the new customization features, all the new enhancements, but a week later I continue to find hidden features and settings within the iPhone that I think are worth a mention. And now I want to start off with the settings application because with iOS 18, the settings application has been entirely redone, but I want to go here into the search tab right here because there's a few things happening here that I really love. Every time I go to search for something in settings, I now get a most recent search tab right here at the bottom. So we get a list of the most recent searches right here. So general notification, WhatsApp settings, as you can see right there. So yeah, you get these recent settings right here that gives you quick access of things you've already looked for. That way, if you wanna go back and search for those things again, you have a quick recent right here where you can just tap. And obviously you also get some shortcuts and suggestions on the top of settings as well. So this is a nice touch to settings, although the entire application has been redesigned and redone, as you can see right here, Every category has its own icon, so you can tap into those categories and you can have a visual of exactly what it is that you're tapping into. I think the settings in search and settings is one of my favorite new updates with some of those recents because I always usually go back and adjust some of the same settings, for example, notifications or the, uh, the keyboard, the camera. Now, speaking of the camera, there's a really cool new feature for the camera on the iPhone and Apple Music. So, for example, if you want to listen to a song with an Apple Music and you want to go ahead and capture video while you listen to that song, this feature is now natively built into the iPhone. So if I play this music here, I can now go into the actual camera here and capture video. You see that? It is still playing while it's capturing video. So that is really cool. Now before this was possible by simply long pressing in the photo section, just like someone sliding over, but now it is natively here with the video capture for the iPhone in iOS 18. So something super cool and you can adjust those settings by the way, by going into your camera extension right here within settings. And you wanna make sure that you go into record sounds right here. And there it is, allow audio playback when capturing videos. So that's a new feature, which is sort of hitting within the operating system. And it is now fully built in where you can capture video while you also listen to music. This is going to be great for birthday parties and things of that nature. So yeah, this is a new feature that I really like. Now there's also additional options for hitting applications. So if you hide an application within your iPhone, so if you long press on an icon, you click on here, require face ID, you get the option to hide this application. So when you hide an application inside of settings, you can go into the hitting applications folder or section. So you have to scroll all the way to the bottom of settings find the app extension right here. And then you have to scroll all the way to the bottom of the list and there you'll find the hidden applications. Obviously it will require face ID authentication in order to go in here. And once you go in there, you can adjust the settings for any hidden applications on your home screen or on your iPhone. Now you can also access your hitting applications in a folder at the bottom of the list of your app library right there. And it will also require face ID authentication, but having the additional options and settings to adjust the settings for each individual application that's hitting on your iPhone, I think that's a really cool new option available within iOS 18. Now, did you know you can also hide the labels, the text labels of your icons on the home screen of your iPhone? Yes, so if you long press on the home screen, you click on edit and then you go into customize right here if we tap on the large icon option all the labels will disappear i didn't notice this at first but after a while i've noticed that you can hide the labels from your widgets and your icons when you go into the larger size icons on the home screen i think this gives your iphone a nice clean look and i think i really like this no labels on icons and widgets on the home screen i think it looks a lot cleaner on the iPhone. Now, one thing that I also want to talk about is Control Center. As you know, Control Center is one of the biggest updates within iOS 18, but there's more options than you may think. So for example, if you're on a FaceTime call or you're using Siri or the microphone on a phone call, if you go into Control Center, you have your privacy settings right here. So you see that I can adjust the microphone from automatic to standard to the voice isolation or the wide spectrum. So you can adjust the microphone 
on the fly with Control Center. If you're on a FaceTime call using Siri, you can do that as well. And if you're using your camera, you can also adjust the settings from your camera right there. As you can see, I have different options available here that I can play around with, adjust the portrait options and things of that nature, as you can see right here, and even add the effects. So really cool options within Control Center to adjust your camera settings on the fly when you're you know, on a FaceTime call or something like that. You can adjust all these options for audio and video. And these are just some of the things I've noticed that are hidden within the operating system that I think are very useful. So when you're maybe using the microphone or the camera on your iPhone, you can adjust those settings on the fly with a quick preview within Control Center, having the ability to actually capture video while listening to music, updates to the settings application. These little touches to the operating system really make the difference. And I wanted to share those with you guys in today's video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any secret settings or hidden features that you found that are really useful in those comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you real soon. Peace.